Well, well. The booze hound returns. Never thought you'd show your face around Tree Hill again. I guess you finally grew a pair. I always had a pair, Danny. Just ask your wife. Hey, did you ever find Jules? I need an address to send her W-2s. I, uh, hear you think I tried to kill you. Trust me. If I did, you'd be dead. Oh, I doubt it. In fact, the attempt on my life has all the markings of the Key Scott operation, starting with the fact it was a failure. You know, I should have run for this office a long time ago. With its privileges, I get access to things. For instance, the official investigation into the dealership fire was ruled an accident. But I know someone gave me a drugged bottle of scotch that night. So it stands to reason whoever bought the bottle also set the fire. I guess that means you. Man buys booze, call the FBI. I haven't even started yet. Well, you can't find something that's not there, Danny. Like uh, your heart, for instance. Oh, by the way, you ever touch Lucas again? You wished I killed you. Is this? Why doesn't my key to the front door work? Change the locks and the alarm code, so don't even think about it. Funny. Almost as funny as a mother who deserts her son. At least your father checks in on you. Mom's better off without you. So am I. Really? Then why aren't you at practice? Why'd he kick us out of the field house? Now we gotta play in that crappy old gym. Don't worry. I'll get my people to figure out some sort of health code violation. I don't even know why you care. Because you're a high caliber player and you deserve the best. You mean like Oak Lake Academy? Yeah. Mom told me they made an offer and that you kept it a secret from me. No, it's nice to see your mother still using her mouth. There's a reason I didn't tell you about Oak Lake. Listen, if you play there, you're a small fish in a big pond, but at Tree Hill, you can shine for the scouts, and that's been the plan all along. Dad, the plan's not working. There are no scouts, not with the way we're playing. I can exert some leverage, get the offer back on the table. It's not too late. Dad, that's not the point. The point is it should have been my decision, not yours. You're absolutely right. No one should determine your future but you. Not me, not your mom, not even your wife. By the way, is it just me? Does she put on a little bit of weight? You were wrong about Haley. She's on the pill. Oh, <laughs> is that what she told you? Well, it sounds like Deb. Well, you know what they say. We marry our mothers. And trust me. Don't take anything for granted. <laughs> 